Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now I am going to show how to create story levels and column modeling in Strap. So before creating the story levels, we will define the properties for column. We will go to Beam, then properties. We will define properties. Here rectangular section for here it is 20 by 40 30 by 40 column 30 30 centi by 40 centi uh, is columns are 30 by 50 so create this one the height is 30 by 40 this share factor if you want to provide 0 0.85 0 0.85 you can provide and this major axis direction for this four edges column this is in this direction so I'll click on this then click OK now this four column we can assign first now we will create four corner columns then we will go for other columns here go to column when we will click on column then here the level story level option will come so number of level for example 12 and step regular uh, story height for example 3.2 from 0 ok then we can create 1.8 meter level for plane beam and then 3.6 that means 5.4 meter for the ground floor height and other floor 3.2 meter so 3.2 meter that means 8.6 then 11.8 then 15.0 18.2 then 21.4 then 20 31.0 then 34.2 so this is our story levels and this four column will create from this zero from the from zero to 31 okay and uh, this only stair column we will create up to 34.2 or we can edit this one stair head level not uh, 3.2 meter it will be for example 2.5 meter then it will be 33.5 okay so here I'll go up to 31 and property list list here this one one okay click on okay okay then individual node i'll click on this 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 and this then again another click okay done if you want to see the column you, you have to go to isometric view so this is our column and we can see the rendered view this is our rendered view ok here is the section property name now we will go to another columns here in this side this is 
30 by 50 column we'll add the property property number two define or revise this we'll create 30 by 50 0 0.85 0 0.85 ok then click on ok close now here we will go to column again we'll property select this one ok property number 2 and this top level this one okay individual node this this and this double click done okay now we will see the rendered view this is the rendered view here the column direction this direction ok for this corner direction I have to change this one ok so we will click on this and go to no, not this one this one ok now for this property number one this one revise we'll revise this section we'll select this one okay close now we can check now the direction is okay now for other columns let's go in this direction we will go to property assign or define this one this 30 by 50 in this case we will select this one ok and ok now we will go to column list number 3 ok and the bottom level and top level ok here we'll click ok individual node here 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 and here you see other also this side also same click on this another click done now we can copy this this side column to this side node we want to see the number this is 27 and here it is number 2 ok so I will go again to that view this one number of and I will go to copy select copy first time we will face uh, some difficulties but after using for two three months then we, it will be easy for modeling in this software this analysis design and the drawing production is very uh, specific that's why this software is very useful to us so select by window like this okay now this number 2 we will select node 2 okay at an existing node we will copy this one node we will copy this uh, nodes to 27 node then uh, type 27 then click okay and this node numbering automatically beam numbering automatically and other things 
connect copies with team with property number two and other things you can assign but that one i am not going for uh, we need to copy this co notes and the elements to this 27 number note so we'll click on ok now we can go to isometry view see here the notes copied so we can delete this notes and for column in the column we have the other notes only and here in grid we have this grid this notes so that's why in vertical direction no note copied so this note we can delete go to node delete we can select by individual or we can select by window we will go to horizontal or plan view delete select by window this done okay now we have finished our column modeling for s columns now we will model our interior columns so go to beam and we'll go to this plan view okay now we will assign the interior column property define this one 30 here and inside here it is 50 okay, here we will assign 60 60 this to this four column we will assign 60 create 60 and the alignment this direction so we will keep like this okay. like this it will be in this direction so okay now close we will check column property number four okay okay select by window this four okay this is this direction we want okay done now we will go for property and this four column we want to assign up to the last level so go to property and column then this 33.5 okay select by window okay. done this four column it will go up to stair head that's why this four column will be in upper level see this four column in 2.5 meter up above the other columns to this now we will model other columns these are all of these are check 30 by 70 these three and these three and this two okay we'll go to property define this section 30 by 70 this is the measure axis okay and click on okay close we'll go to column list number five okay and this would be up to 31 meter level okay now select by window this one and again column okay window this one now for this we will define five we will go to number six then we will change this orientation this like this okay close now we will go to column 
and list number six okay okay then by polygon not polygon we want by window this one this is the direction so all of columns we have modeled uh, according to the floor levels you can see the 3d view and we can see the render view we want to see the section name by in a different color you can see like this uh, shift and left side of uh, mouse you can rotate this way and control and left side of mouse you can rotate by like this okay now we'll go to our linear element view so in this way we can create columns and story levels in strap in the next tutorial we will create our model in the story levels so till then stay tuned press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update